Uh, g'day, I'm Jock Bosworth uh, from Battle of Bosworth and uh, Springs Road Wines and Springsea at here in McLarenville. Hi, I'm Louise Hemsey-Smith and I am originally from England, so I've been out here for 20 years. Between us, Jock and I have created Battle of Bosworth, Springseed Wines and Springs Road on Kangaroo Island, as well as McLaren Vale here. So when I was a small boy, father was quite smart and realised that children are very uh, cheap labour and, uh, you know, so most of the vineyards here we pl I planted with my sister. Uh, in our school holidays, so the September school holidays was uh, vine planting season. We did that every year for quite a long time. Now, can you tell us why your brand is called a Battle of Bosworth and Springsea? I, uh, I was originally going to call the winery Bosworth, and a friend of mine said, that's boring, and you know, we've got an organic uh, vineyard and winery, so we're battling the weeds and we're also a uh, husband and wife team and so we can battle about the washing up as well as business and, and everything else. And we do, and we do, yeah. And so the development from Battle of Bosworth was um, spring seed which um, we developed for the US market. Now, with living and working in Macaron Vale for such a long time, um, what do you think Michael Lavelle as a community and a region in a whole, how, how do you feel about it? I think it's a very, it's a very friendly region and um, it's quite collaborative. And uh, I think most people here like each other, which is uh, a good start. There's been a couple of really key people who sort of promoted that, one of whom was our old boss at Wirra Wirra, um, Greg Trott. He was, um, he would probably be a shining light within oh, the region yeah. for yep you know, getting to get people together for a shared dinner or shared lunch and sharing information, having fun and... But he still has a, a great influence in, in and Wirra Wirra is still very much a, a sort of a, a focus for that, that kind of regional kind of get-togethers and, and yeah. As a relatively small and family winery, compared with those big wineries, um, how do we establish ourselves? You know, when people uh, when you contact you, 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 you don't have to speak to five different levels uh, to get to some, someone could ring Louise and just get an answer. Uh, yeah. Is probably one of, the, one of the big things. I think also, because we've been doing the organic thing for quite a long time, I think we kind of established ourselves with a little niche to be known as, as organic producers. I mean, obviously we don't have the, the, the marketing power or the of the bigger companies, but you know, I think you just have to keep on keeping what you're doing uh, with your eye on what you're doing rather than looking at the big companies, they're always going to be doing things differently.